Nowadays, the upper class always have the top priority to choose to live in places with quiet and private spaces, combined with sea view villas, or they even boldly spent a lot of money owning an entire island to enjoy. In particular, the demands of the super rich not only stop at luxurious villas with perfect amenities, but there are also spaces with a personal touch, supreme safety, isolation, and original living environment. Things that only villas on isolated natural islands can bring. That's the reason why island real estate is known as the refuge for the super rich. Leading a luxurious life is not just about owning a private jet or organizing luxurious parties. Owning a private island for a lavish escape has become a trend to show off their level of wealth and luxury. And perhaps you're also dreaming of a vacation or looking for privacy on an island somewhere. Or do you want to explore the islands with a beautiful name paradise scenery? Then in today's video, Luxury Style invites you to travel with us to the 10 most expensive and luxurious private islands in the world. All of these expensive islands are privately owned. The owners of this huge block of real estate are certainly not poor like Robinson, or at least not ordinary people. Number 1. Firstly, let's explore Necker Island owned by Richard Branson. Richard Branson is a British business tycoon, investor, and philanthropist. He's known as the founder of the Virgin Group, including more than 400 companies. Having assets of nearly 5 billion USD, he was once one of the richest people in the world. In any job, Branson challenges himself to achieve higher and higher levels of success. And of course, with that wealth that many people dream of, he will not mistreat himself. Branson bought Necker Island in 1978. It cost only $180,000. It took him 5 years and $10 million to rebuild this island into a resort valued at $60 million in 2006. Necker Island, located in the Virgin Islands, owned by billionaire Richard Branson, is considered a resort paradise. With an area of nearly 300,000 square meters, the island is located along a pristine area of the Caribbean Sea and just north of Virgin Gord. Necker Island is surrounded by turquoise waters, coral reefs, and beautiful white sand beaches. Over the years, Necker Island has welcomed many famous guests including Princess Diana and Princess, actress Kate Winslet, and actor Robert De Niro, singer Mariah Carey, and so on. According to Essential Magazine, Necker Island is the brainchild of Richard Branson. After going through the renovation process, Necker seems to be reborn because it is even more splendid than before with completely new large Balinese-style houses. Nowadays, Necker is also searched for with the keyword wedding venue. On the island, visitors can look out to the clear blue sea and enjoy the panoramic view of coconut trees swaying in the wind. It also has a peaceful atmosphere, ideal for relaxing and finding peace rather than partying. According to a report by Travel and Leisure, to experience a private and luxurious vacation on Necker Island, the cost tourists need to spend is quite high. A night stay here costs about 107,500 USD for 20 rooms accommodating 40 people. The price can be up to $128,000 per night if they stay in all 24 rooms with a capacity of 48 guests. Each traveler's accommodation is tailored exactly to their needs, including dining. Each space has sweeping views of the Caribbean. Necker is not only perfect for large families, but it can also accommodate small families as the villas or rooms can be booked individually. Visitors are encouraged to participate in activities such as diving in underwater shipwrecks, practicing yoga at sunrise or sunset, hiking, spa treatments, etc. One of the billionaire Richard Branson's goals is his commitment to the environment and sustainability. Through this, he wants to inspire visitors to Necker when it comes to living more sustainably. Number 2. Mago Island is owned by famous American actor, director, producer, and screenwriter Mel Gibson. Mago Island is one of the largest private islands in Fiji, South Pacific, owned by famous American actor and director Mel Gibson. He purchased the island for approximately $15 million shortly after the release of his successful film, The Passion of the Christ 2004, according to Forbes. Mago Island is located in the Fijian archipelago, which is considered a stopover for the super rich. During nearly two years of world isolation due to the COVID pandemic, Fiji's Green Lane Initiative allowed individuals with high net worth to come by super yacht or private jet. Sources at Fiji Airways have confirmed that their A350 aircraft are also rented for personal use. While this enchanting island is not open to the public, Gibson operates a private cattle ranch and is involved in other farming and fishing projects in an effort to preserve its natural state. Several caretakers have been hired to maintain Mago Island. According to Unique Properties, the Japanese conglomerate sold the volcanic property to Gibson. It is completely surrounded by protective coral reefs, white sand beaches, and turquoise lagoons. 
What's special about this island is that many tropical fruits, vegetables, and other plants grow abundantly thanks to the fertile volcanic soil there. Number 3. Musha K Island is owned by the magician David Copperfield. According to Forbes, the master magician spent $50 million buying a group of 11 islands around Musha K in 2006. Musha K is an island with an area of more than 150 hectares located 140 kilometers southeast of the Bahamas. With another investment worth $30 million, he turned the entire property into an extremely luxurious resort called Copperfield Bay Islands. The one-night rental price here is 32,250 USD, including five luxurious villas with a lot of modern equipment, a private beach, an outdoor theater, and typical Caribbean dishes. Musha K has a tropical environment that has never been affected by pollution, with beaches and sand as smooth as sugar, sparkling in the sunlight, clear water that can be seen at the bottom, rows of charming and luxurious motels, and the dedicated service staff to all customer requests. Although only a group of 12 guests can stay each night, they can enjoy exclusive views of 40 private beaches along with other amenities such as tennis courts, global cuisine, and speedboats. You can even request a private fireworks show to celebrate any special occasions. Some of the A-listers who have vacationed here include Oprah Winfrey, Bill and Melinda Gates, Jim Carrey and John Travolta. Additionally, the weddings of Penelope Cruz and Javier Bardem, as well as Google co-founder Sergey Brin were held at Musha K. Number 4. Little Hall's Pond K is owned by Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is one of the favorite actors thanks to the film series called Pirates of the Caribbean. While filming Pirates of the Caribbean, he was captivated by the beauty of the pristine Bahamas, so he spent $3.6 million owning one of its islands. Little Hall's Pond K has an area of 45 acres with 6 beaches, including 2 beaches named after Johnny Depp's children, Lily Rose and Jack. Another beach is named after his ex-wife, Vanessa Paradis. In an interview with Variety in 2009, Depp revealed that he built a ranch-style house on the island. In addition, there are a number of villas using solar energy and a house on the beach with romantic green bamboo. Little Hall's Pond K is also part of the Exuma Land and Sea Park Conservation Area, meaning no one can disturb the island's natural flora and fauna. It was discovered that the island was once listed for sale on the Vladi Private Islands website for $75 million and labeled sold within minutes. However, up to now, the new owner of the island has not been announced and Depp is still considered the owner of the island. Number 5. Bonds K, Bahamas is owned by Shakira. Shakira is a Colombian singer known for her songs and belly dancing. Shakira is one of the richest women in the world of music with an estimated net worth of more than $300 million. In 2011, she teamed up with Roger Waters, the co-founder of Pink Floyd and a Spanish pop star. Alejandro Sanz to jointly purchase a 550-acre island in the Bahamas for $16 million. The island has five beautiful beaches, many waterfalls, three bays, breathtaking views, and several lagoons. The surrounding crystal-clear waters make the island the perfect spot for fishing and other water activities. They want to transform the island into a luxurious, eco-friendly, and carbon-neutral retreat for musicians and artists. Number 6. Isla Saferadura Isla Saferadura is a 35,000 square meter private island located in Ibiza, San Miguel Bay. The beautifully restored villa offers modern accommodation that is ideal for an extended family holiday, a gathering of friends, or an exclusive event. The small island is connected to the mainland by a double-sided beach and offers breathtaking sea views from a 750 square meter terrace that includes two bars, a shaded pergola, a DJ mixing deck, and a stage area. The terrace and outdoor are ideal for guests to relax and unwind. There are two stunning swimming pools, a 23-meter infinity pool surrounded by sun loungers, and an immersion-style pool in the hotel's tropical gardens. The interior is characterized by a cool Ibizan atmosphere with warm natural textures, neutral color schemes, and local artwork creating a comfortable feel. The large central courtyard is surrounded by three living rooms and dining room which are decorated in an elegant Balearic style with floor-to-ceiling windows that slide into the walls opening the interior to terraces with a bar, relaxation space, and outdoor dining area. Some other highlights of the resort are the fully equipped gym, yoga space, and spa and wellness area with hot tub, sauna, steam room, and bar. The resort has a master suite and five ensuite bedrooms, some of which are semi-open. Alternatively, are available to accommodate additional guests in equal luxury. The multilingual and experienced staff will ensure visitors feel comfortable throughout their staying at Isla Sa Ferradura. 
Number 7. Lanai Island, Hawaii's most luxurious natural wonder is owned by Larry Ellison. Lanai Island is the 6th largest of the Hawaiian Islands and the 43rd largest in the United States. As of 2012, 98% of the island was owned by Larry Ellison, the co-founder and chairman of Oracle Corporation. The other 2% was owned by the state of Hawaii and private individuals, including the harbor and private homes where 3,000 residents lived. With his estimated fortune of about 46 billion USD, buying an island in Hawaii for 300 million USD is certainly not too difficult for Ellison. Lanai Island is also known as Pineapple Island because it once grew and supplied 75% of the world's pineapple production. This 364 square kilometer island with 75 kilometers of coastline once belonged to billionaire David Murdoch. After buying it, Mr. Ellison took over almost everything including small local businesses, restaurants, grocery stores and art galleries, and some larger businesses including the two Four Seasons hotels, two golf courses, community swimming pool, and one-third of the homes on the island. Ellison, who believes renewable energy must be cost-competitive with fossil fuels to survive, said that he intended to invest up to $500 million to improve the island's infrastructure and create an environmentally friendly agricultural industry. Lanai has many beautiful beaches, especially Polihua Beach, where rare green sea turtles and humpback whales often appear. Nearby at Hulopo Beach, visitors can scuba dive and watch dolphins. There's plenty to see all over the island. Another prominent place on Lanai is the Garden of the Gods, located in the north of the island, covered with a lot of red lava. Hawaiian legend says that this area was formed by the gods throwing stones down from the sky in their garden. Number 8. Blackador Cay Island is owned by Leonardo DiCaprio. Blackador Cay is a small island in Belize west of Ambergris Cay in the Caribbean Sea. Blackador Cay is 104 acres. In 2005, Blackador Cay was purchased by the actor of The Wolf of Wall Street, DiCaprio, for $1.75 million, who intended to develop a sustainable eco-resort on the island. DiCaprio originally discovered the island during a vacation in 2004 while staying at the ultra-luxurious resort Cayo Espanto. Blackador Cay is one of the world's most exclusive island retreats located in beautiful Belize behind the world's second largest barrier reef. Blackador Cay is the world's first truly regenerative island, a development project entirely powered by renewable energy and designed to enhance the biological health of the species on the island and sea area around it. As originally planned, Blackador Cay offers 68 villas for guests and 48 villas for owners priced from 5 to 15 million USD. Each apartment will have its own infinity pool, private beach, and jungle access. An anti-aging wellness center and the resort will all have the luxury amenities. The platform containing the villas will shelter ocean life below. Almost half of the island will be dedicated to research and there will also be an official research center at the site. DiCaprio himself said in an interview at the time that his project would change the world. It will also be home to a native plant nursery focused on manatee conservation, including replanting mangrove trees and replacing invasive species. It is located a short 15-minute boat ride from San Pedro. The project will be closely overseen by a team of talented scientists, designers, and engineers, along with landscape architects who will closely monitor the island's environmental impact. Number 9. The island off the coast of Dubai is owned by Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson is probably the only person who owns an island that wasn't purchased with her own money. Her ex-husband, Tommy Lee, the drummer of the heavy metal band Motley Crue, brought a private island off the coast of Dubai and gifted it to her. Although Anderson wants to turn it into an eco-friendly resort, there's been no development. Therefore, many people think she wants to keep the island for herself. Number 10. Rooster K. Bahamas is owned by Eddie Murphy. Multi-talented and funny guy Eddie Murphy is an actor, comedian, director, and musician. In 2007, Murphy spent $15 million owning the island of Rooster K. in Long K. Bahamas, which is considered an ideal place to develop resort services. The 60,000 square meter island is only a 5 minute boat ride from the coast of Nassau, Bahamas. The island itself remains a mystery to the public. It is located right next to the famous Paradise Island. Now being new to the private island business, Rooster K is Murphy's second purchase. He previously owned another island in the Bahamas called Pearl K, located right next to Paradise Island. Owning a private island is a dream for many people, but not everyone has the opportunity to have an island named after them. Owning a private island is considered a symbol of wealth and luxury, and many people go to private islands to live separately with space and absolute privacy. Above is the information about the 10 most luxurious and expensive private islands in the world. Which islands are you impressed with? Please let us know in the comments below. See you again in the latest videos of Luxury Style.